Well, 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 you've made it to episode two. Today, we're gonna have more fun. So thanks for coming through. Last week, I introduced you to myself and my year and a half old daughter, Carmela. You might also know me as Mrs. That's Good Sports. He's an odd fella. Anyway, it's nice to meet you and thank you for joining us. Subscribe if you haven't already. After being mostly happy with my debut episode last week, the thought of turning to episode two felt a little intimidating. But then I remembered, Zen mode, that I'm really just documenting our day to day, from lunchbox prep to doctor appointments, and of course, just brain rants. Speaking of lunchboxes, let's look at my suggested setup since no one asked. First, you must have a screen nearby to watch reality TV or talk shows talking about reality TV. It helps to have nicotine lozenges. Not necessary, but again, it just takes the edge off of cutting the millionth piece of fruit for the day that probably won't get eaten. Oh wait, back up, was that a Benchwarmer Brew shirt? Did you know that Brandon and I sell small batch roasted high quality beans that are socially and responsibly sourced? This is the good stuff, benchwarmerbrew.com. Anyway, this week brought so much sun and warmth, even though the winds are still a little moody, we were able to spend a lot of time outside together. Maybe it was being born and raised in Montana for the first eight years of life. Maybe it was going to a super hippie middle school in Portland, Oregon. Shout out EMS. Or maybe it's because after my beautiful Italy years, I migrated to busy LA where I rarely ventured outside. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, I don't remember how I got to a geographical summary of my previous residences, but it was all to say that it felt amazing to be in nature lately. Spring is here and it's been so well received in our household. I've heard a lot of parents reference the feeling of reliving their own childhood as they watch their children grow up. I have those flashes for sure. But overall, I can't quite say the same because while the backdrops are eerily similar, the day-to-day -day is undeniably quite different. See, my parents met at a spiritual retreat in Southern California in the early 80s and quickly fell in love. It wasn't long before they married and soon after that moved to Montana under the leadership of Elizabeth Clare Prophet, who I will definitely be talking about in a future episode. Church Universal and Triumphant believed that a third world war was imminent, and it wasn't just a small operation. At its peak success in the mid 80s, worldwide membership had reached over 150,000 people. My father was a part of the on-site team where the bomb shelters four football fields long were being not just constructed, but also filled with weapons and food. One winter, he was forced to live out there in tents for weeks on end away from my mom and I. Today, while Carmi and I play in our sunny fairy garden, I think a lot about what those years must have been like for my parents. Not easy, for sure. Sometimes I think that childhood and parenthood have more things in common than not. So little in either world is in your control. Everything feels like a first until it suddenly feels like the hundredth. And finally, progress is so rarely a straight line. Right when you think you have something mastered, it changes. Moving on to more events that took place this week. Carmi's 20-month-old checkup, which means my least favorite thing in the world, immunizations. Okay, it wasn't that bad. Carmi did fantastic with the shots, and Dr. Karen gave her a rave review of being so smart. Doctor also confirmed that ear tube surgery is definitely in Carmi's future. All in all, it was an eventful week. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I can't wait to see you next week. Bye-bye.